Yeah, it's a yucky day up here in the mountains, but we're gonna cook anyway because I'm having withdrawals. So I dragged a bunch of stuff out here and uh, we're gonna try some meatloaf. Okay, y'all. In the past, whenever I've done meatloaf, I've done meatloaf uh, patties, kind of. Almost like smash burgers. We're going full tilt this time. Shh. Baja the Wonder Dog has her ideas. Uh, we got some pork and beef blend. And you can see I got it on sale. Which is why I'm making me up. Could have made chili. Well, I want to I wanna test myself. So we dump that in the mixing bowl. And if you hear the non-dog calling, that's uh, one of our community peacocks. Uh, so this is Italian breadcrumbs. I like panko, but I couldn't find them. Uh, that's right, Baja. So we got a cupish, and we'll dump that in there. And uh, we need some we need some moisture. So. We got tomato sauce, we got ketchup, ketchup, tomato sauce. I can't make up my mind, so I brought out both. And uh, yeah, it's about half tomato sauce right there. Set that aside. Take my thumb. And uh, let's add some ketchup, shall we? La, 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 la. Oh, that feels better. So that's about a cup, half and half ish. But wait, this gives it depth of flavor. Tomato paste. And the tubes are so handy. You don't have to open a can for like a teaspoon and then try to figure out. Uh, a couple months later, you dig that can out of the fridge. One of my secret weapons I use in a lot of cooking lately. Anchovy paste. Um, this... You can't taste the salty or the the fishy, I mean. Uh, but it convinces your mouth that there's more meat than there actually is. So it's another depth of flavor thing. And we'll dump all this in there. But wait, there's more. Set you guys out of the way. We need some seasoning. Let me move some of my stuff out of the way. Uh, Italian seasoning. We'll add about that much. Or thereabouts. Um, I didn't chop up an onion or celery this time. But I do have some uh, dehydrated chopped onion. I kind of like it for... Uh, this because uh, it, it kind of bounces out the, your moisture content. And of course, you got to have garlic. La -da 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 -da. And just to make sure there's enough flavor, just a little bit of cayenne. Not a lot. I watched uh, an episode of the Griddle Guys, who are really good, by the way. This is my salt, pepper, garlic blend with paprika and Mrs. Dash and stuff. Um, they used a whole bottle of uh, hot sauce. 
which is very interesting. And uh, one last ingredient that I forget half the time is incredible edible egg. And now, I wish I had some rubber gloves, but I don't, so uh, we're going to do it by hand. Actually, I won't be able to shut off the camera. <laughs> so I'm going to mix it up, then go wash my hands, then come back, and we'll start putting it into the pan. We'll be right back. Okay, you guys, there it is. My meatloaf mix. Um, it's important not to over mix it because the more you handle meat, the tougher it gets. So you want to mix it, but you don't want to over mix it. So we have bacon. We have a pan. And uh, let me see if I'm smart enough to open this bacon where it says open here. I've got the griddle going. And... Uh, I had to turn it down because this was all taking longer than I thought, including opening the baking container because, you know, that's advanced level stuff. I know some of you experts and uh, some of you uh, trolls are much better at these things than me. In fact, I can already hear some of the supposed geniuses saying, just do it inside, just do it. Yeah, damn. Sorry. Baja wanted in on the action. Uh, yeah, there's, there's trolls that no matter what, we'll find something, including why are you doing it that way? Because I want to. That's my answer. Okay, we got bacon, and I'm crisscrossing the bacon, if I can get to it, there we go, without touching the, the ground, so we got crisscross, crisscross. Jump, jump, jump around, jump around. Wasn't that crisscross? I don't know. I'm too old for such thing. Wow. Paper thin. We'll set that aside. And crisscross. I know it's probably boring. I don't care. Doing it anyway. No, I do care. And I'm very grateful. For all of you who hang around for all this silliness and amateurishness and all that. Jump, jump, jump around. Old school. Crisscross. Not to be confused with Christopher Cross. When you see a yellow, no, oh, if you see a uh, something, then take it, find romance, bake it, I don't know. Okay, one of the tricks, yummy, huh? Get another good little stir, so I see some unseasoned meat, I think. You can't have that. Man, this stuff was cold. While you were gone, I was mixing it, and my I was saying, ah, ah, and maybe that was the peacocks, but it's cold. So we're putting in a little at a time because you want it dense. You want it stuffed. You want it shoved in there. All the nooks and crannies. You don't want it, uh, you don't want a loose meatloaf. You want a dense meatloaf. So, 
what kind of layering and stuffing and shoving. I've had nights like that. Oh, sorry, I don't want to get off on the tangent again. So, uh oh, come back here. Shoving. 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 We have to shove some more. Yeah, this will work, I think. Like I said, you want to get all the nuts and crannies. Get shoved in here really good. Mush, mush, mushy, mushy, mushy. And look at that, it all fit. Set that aside. We'll shove, mush, mush, and shove. Doesn't it smell good already? Sure, it does. I don't think I have to worry about the heat from my hands today because it is so cold. This is Santa Barbara. This is California. And and my hands are freezing, y'all. Cold. So I'm... Huh. I've lost some bacon somewhere. <sighs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. You know what? We can do something else too. Don't tell Baja. Cause she's she's watching. She's taking notes. She's gonna grade me on this. I don't know what happened to my bacon, but we have enough pieces here. We can still crisscross and layer, and now I want some bacon. Another thin piece. We'll take these thin slices and just fill in the gaps here. La, 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 la. So we're going to fold, 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 I guess those first few pieces maybe I didn't get them to lined up right. Okay. We'll do a little clean up here. And uh. Get rid of you. Get rid of this. And, uh, it's so nice to be able to get sanitizing wipes again. Now that everyone stopped hoarding, I can, I can wash my hands. Or at least sanitize them real quick without running in the house. I wish I'd had gloves because it's so cold. It's it's under 50. I know that. Okay. I'm going to move you. It's going to be a moving experience. Are you ready? Here we go. And do you feel better now? Okay. Let's see if my parchment paper works. We're going to, you know what? No, we got bacon. We don't need that. Earl, pop it down, check it out, you know what, I get the bacon to try, oh no, okay, that's what I get to you, it'll be good enough, trust me, okay, we're gonna 
Leave this a little bit above medium. And if my dome doesn't work, I have an emergency backup. Uh, yeah, that's not going to work. I'll grab the emergency backup and uh, hold on. Ta-da! The emergency backup dome. Uh, I usually use this on pizza, but it's great for situations like this too. This will help steam it, bake it, convect it. We're going to go 12 minutes on each side. That's four sides, not the ends. And uh, we'll let it go and uh, I'll bring it back when it's time to turn. To every season turn, turn. Okay y'all, it's been about 11 minutes. Are you ready for the big reveal? The bacon smells so good. I'm going to have to do something to pick that up. Maybe. How brave am I? Look you are. It's looking like something. So, I think we're ready to flip. And I happen to have a cake server, which makes an awesome giant spatula for scooping stuff off the griddle and uh, such. And I uh, guess I could use a regular spatula. I want to kind of, because the break, bacon's going to be sticking a bit, even though it's well seasoned. Now, one ring of jeans, two ring of jeans. Huh. Look at that! Is that just the prettiest thing you've ever seen, or what? The bacon! I can smell the bacon! Okay. Another 12 minutes. And, uh... We'll see what happens. And we may have to keep flipping it. That's a general guide. I could actually turn this up a little. Uh, like two minutes at a time and flip if it's not done. I'll use a thermometer because I don't want to food poison myself. And uh, we'll let this go another 12 minutes and we'll, we'll be back. Okay, can you tell in 12 minutes... Just how foggy it's gotten, foggier. Um, everything's been dripping wet all day. It has not been fun. Okay, let's flip our lid here. Ooh, that's getting hot now. Oh, I have it. Ooh, smelling good. Okay. Let's uh, add a little something to not burn ourselves. That's always a good thing, right? Right, 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 right. So it's been 12 minutes. And uh, you see it's starting to cook up the edges here. Uh, uh, uh. And again, we'll do our little crazy hanging. That's right, we did, uh, ooh, that one's really quick. We're gonna try to smush this down just a little. Make sure it stays. Now, see, I got some bacon fat gathering back here in the back corner. Let's just go ahead and thin that out. And, uh, We will, we will, we will walk in. Hopefully this isn't too tall. Come on. It's a little tall. That's okay. It still gets the job done. So, 
We're going to do another. Can you guess? That's right. 12 minutes. Can you say 12, boys and girls? I knew that you could. So, we're going to keep on cooking. And uh, that, this is side three or four. We'll see how it goes. And we'll see how much foggier it will get in 12 minutes. Okay. See you soon. Okay, y'all. It's getting foggier. And we're getting closer to having supper. Uh, learned my lesson this time. I'm not going to cook up that stupid thing by hand because it's gotten hot. Um, yeah, it's actually, we're, we're inside the clouds again. Things are dripping. Holy cow. Why didn't you warn me that gets hot in there now? Okay. Oh, it fell over. But I think enough got done. And this is going to be the hard part. Getting this edge to stand. I think. Maybe I can squish it down a little. Maybe turn it this way. It's, it's mostly staying together, but ooh, look how moist inside there. Mostly staying together, except for right there. And uh, just out of curiosity, kind of. We're going to be at least like 165 with, with uh, meat, ground meat. Yeah, it's about 140 deep inside there. 130, so it does have a way to go. So, we're going to cover it back up and hope we don't burn up into I hope it doesn't fall over again. And, uh, we'll come back in another 12 minutes and see how froggy it is. Okay, boys and girls. You can see it's a little bit foggier. And, uh, Everything's just a little bit damper out here. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, let's check out our... May have to replace my emergency backup uh, doodad. Well, it's nice and brown all the way around. That's for sure. For sure. Oof. It's actually quite a crust. Not quite sure what that crust is. But check out. Look how moist. And, uh, I left my thermometer out, and it's getting, can you see that? It's getting moist, too. But, anyway, uh, 150, 165, that's the side that was down. Ooh, 190. 170, okay, I must have just been in a... And 150 in the middle. Yeah, this is that one spot I was hitting, apparently. Every place else is done. Done, 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 done. So, yeah, it's, uh, we're, we're surpassing like a hundred and 10% humidity out here now. It's, it's, 
everything's just dripping. Um, I think I need something to put that on. Let me turn it off. Uh, and find something to plate our, our lovely meatloaf. But, uh, these are handy dandy cafeteria trays I picked up off of, uh, Amazon. Anyway, that's, uh, I think my cake server works much better. Much, much, much better. There we go. This is this is really handy. I picked it up at a dollar store on sale. And these are on, on Amazon are like, I don't know, ten bucks or something. I paid a buck. I can't resist the bargain and I cannot buy. So Oh, it smells like meatball. And uh, let's go ahead and do that. Give it the start. Look how easily they clean up. I guess, uh, read a review on uh, Facebook from someone who picked up a, uh, I shared it to my Facebook page. Ooh, it's gonna bubble over. Oh, uh, how I get out from under there? Come on, good girl. Um, someone just bought one of the electric griddles and it really loves it. And that'd be cool, I'd be able to cook indoors all the time instead of having to come out on yucky days like this. But anyway, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's pause you. And yes, it's, it's crispy outside, but just look at that. Huh, huh, huh? I can't wait to dig into it, and uh, if you'll excuse me, I'm ready for supper. And uh, we're going to have mashed potatoes. It's going to be so good, y'all. And uh, meanwhile, I can't show you the great view, can I? Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. And most importantly, thank you for feeding my fragile ego. And uh, we'll see you next time. Y'all have a great day. Bye.